so the conclusion is if we are asked to integrate an integral involving product of two functions then to select the first function we follow the principle or we follow this method of ilate where as i said i stands for inverse trigonometric functions l stands for logarithmic functions a stands for algebraic functions t stands for trigonometric functions and e stands for exponential functions now whichever of these two fx or gx comes first in this order becomes the first function for example let's say that fx is a trigonometric function and gx is a logarithmic function now since you see that l or logarithmic functions come first in the order so my gx becomes the first function and fx becomes the second function okay now let's take an example where we will be using this method let's say we have been asked to integrate x square cos x dx now in this case x square is an algebraic function and cos x is a trigonometric function okay if i look here i see that a comes first then t in the order of preference so my x square becomes the first function and cos x becomes the second function or you can say that u is x square and v is cos x okay and now you know that integration of uv dx is given by u integration of dx minus this so i'll follow the same method here this gets simplified to or this integral becomes x square integration of cos x dx minus i need to differentiate this so if i differentiate this i'll get 2x and then integration of cos x is sin x dx okay now you see again i land up in a case where i need to find the value of integration of product of two functions here again x is an algebraic function and sin x is a trigonometric function so this becomes my first function and this becomes my second function so here it becomes sin x minus x integration of sin x is minus cos x minus integration of derivative of x because i have taken two common is 1 and then integration of sin x is again minus cos x okay right now so this becomes x square sin of x plus 2x cos x minus 2 integration of cos x is sin x plus a constant so this is my answer now before we move further i would like to discuss some standard formula which we had missed in the beginning so let's recapitulate that the first standard formula is that integration of dx by x square plus a square is given by 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c next integration of dx divided by x square minus a square is 1 by 2 a ln of x minus a by x plus a plus c integration of dx by 
a square minus x square is 1 by 2a ln of a plus x divided by a minus x plus again a constant. Fourth is integration of dx by root under a square minus x square which is given by sine inverse x by a plus some constant okay now next is there's some more standard formula the next is integration of dx divided by root under a square plus x square this is given by ln of mod of x plus root under x square plus a square plus a constant next is integration of dx by x square minus a square earlier we had discussed dx by root under a square minus x square now it's x square minus a square it's ln of x plus x square minus a square plus a constant next one is integration of a square minus x square dx this is given by half of x into a square minus x square plus half of a square sine inverse x divided by a plus a constant c okay 